Audacio has a number of handy tools which can help you control the selection and visibility of objects within your scene. These tools can be found on the two menu tabs located on the right hand side of your interface. Let's take a look at the selection tools first. When you click on the icon, the interface will slide out. By default, it will automatically hide if we click in our scene. This is great as it frees up screen space. However, since I'm going to be using this menu multiple times, let's pin it into place. The menu is separated into two main areas. The top half is for controlling selection and the lower half is for controlling visibility. The first item in the selection area is the scope dropdown. This controls which objects will be considered for selection. We can choose from every object in our project or just those that are visible or those that are hidden. In addition to the scope, we can also choose whether toolbox items and CAD items should be included, as well as the option to use assembly selection mode. Let's take a look at a few examples. If we wanted to select all of the visible CAD geometry in this step, but none of the toolbox items, we would set the scope to visible. Make sure include toolboxes unticked and then click the select all icon. You'll notice that select all also has a shortcut of control A. If you use this shortcut, rather than clicking the Select All icon, it will still use whatever options are set within the Selection Tools menu. For example, if I now tick the Include Toolbox option on and use Control A, the toolbox items are also included in the selection. It's also useful to point out that when you untick Include Toolbox or Include CAD, it also affects you manually selecting items too. This can be really great if you've placed some 2D items in your scene and you don't want to accidentally select them. Other selection tools include being able to pick instances, invert a selection, and select by colour. Selecting siblings will select any other components that are found at the same assembly level as the selected component, which can be useful for selecting a whole sub-assembly. Selecting twins is similar, but only selects the same instances of the component that are at the same assembly level. The visibility tools help you quickly hide and show the required objects for a step and it can also include or exclude toolbox and CAD objects. The first four icons are for hiding and showing either a selection or all objects within the step. Hide selection has the keyboard shortcut of H, which is really useful when working within a step and removes the need to prompt the selection tools menu tab. Simply select an object or multiple objects and tap H. Pressing it again will bring them back. Isolate allows you to hone in on either a single object or multiple objects by leaving visible only what is selected. And again, this has a useful shortcut, which is I. Zoom to fit fits the selected objects to the screen. You can also achieve this by double clicking an individual part to fit just that, or double clicking in open space to fit all visible CAD objects in view. The options to include linked on show and include linked on hide can save you lots of time. By default, Include Linked on Hide is ticked on. This means when you hide a component, either by pressing your H key or pressing the button in the interface, any objects linked to it will hide too. In this instance, the explode line and the text markup. The second menu tab we're going to look at is the selection trees. Selection trees allow you to easily see which objects exist in the project and not just what is visible within the current step. Selection trees are divided into toolbox, CAD and sets. The toolbox tree lists all the toolbox items you've added to your scene. From this tree, you can select, hide and show any item, as well as being able to delete it by pressing delete on your keyboard. Just be aware that deleting anything in Cadasio deletes it from the entire project and not just from that step, so hiding may be more suitable. The CAD tree lists all the components that exist within the project in a nested format. This allows for the full assembly structure from your CAD system to be visualized. Like with the toolbox tree, a CAD component's visibility can be toggled by ticking or unticking the boxes next to the names. For projects that have a large amount of toolbox items or CAD components, the buttons at the top of the interface allow you to quickly collapse, expand and filter the trees. The CAD tree has the extra ability to search too. One feature I particularly like is to only show items that are currently visible in the scene. This is done with this icon, which toggles hidden objects within your tree. The last tab is Sets, which shows any selection sets you've created. Selection sets enable you to group both CAD and Toolbox items, allowing you to quickly reselect all of those items again later on down the line with a single click. 
To create a selection set, select the objects that you'd like to include and then click Create New Selection Set. You can add to an existing selection set by control selecting an object and the selection set from the tree and clicking Add to Selection Set. You'll also notice within the interface there are options to delete objects from a set and rename sets as well. Hopefully this short tip video has given you some pointers as to the tools available for selection and visibility within Cadasio. Don't forget to subscribe to Cadasio on all your favourite social media platforms for more tech tips and news. Mm -hmm.